This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Gustavo Gusto Pizza Margarita. Um, this is a frozen pizza, a premium frozen pizza, one could say. Um, I think they go for 350 to 4 euros, round about that. And uh, Gustavo Gusto is a, well, relatively new frozen pizza brand. Um, they want to venture out in the ice cream market as well, so I'm uh, certainly looking forward to that. And to my knowledge, they don't belong to either Unilever or Nestle, which is a, a nice change. Many of these newly founded brands often are just, you know, new brands from big conglomerate companies like Unilever or Nestle. So let's take a look around the box, big in taste and big on the plate. This is certainly quite a bit bigger than the other pizzas we, we took a look at recently, even in the past. And um, let's take a look at the back of the package as well, right here. Pause if you want to read any of that. I hope it's uh, fine with the lighting itself. Let's zoom in on the nutrition table right there, the storing suggestion and the ingredients list right there. 410 grams of pizzeria net weight goodness. So let's take it out of the box itself. Uh, oh, pizza? To be thought completely. What? I didn't expect that. <laughs> I really didn't. Um, uh, we don't really have to take it out of the packaging right here because we can see everything. Um, we've got our, our pizza, we've got our cheese on there, just mozzarella apparently. Got some tomato sauce, some red, and that's really it. But for the full uh, flavor experience, Preheat the oven fully, crank up the temperature to the max, and um, let the pizza thaw completely. This is interesting. So I'm going to do that, and I'll uh, see you in a second. Here we are with the finished pizza, fully baked, uh, right at the desk, ready for review. Um, it took a bit longer than I expected it to. I did let it thaw for about 20 minutes, and um, I guess I didn't preheat the oven fully, so um, yeah, it took quite a bit longer than the six to 10 minutes that were listed on the box in the oven to uh, get to this particular stage. I've got to say that this looks very much like my own pizzas that I make myself with uh, my own dough. So um, that's getting some, some sympathy points right there. It does smell decent enough. The crust itself seems to be quite all right. Nice and crispy or crunchy, not very soft at all. If we pick up the pizza, you can see that the dough, just by looking at it, it's quite... It's a bit wet, but it's um, it's very nice and thin, which I appreciate. The bottom looks... Well, you can't really see it too well, but it looks alright when you see it in person. Now, the mozzarella cheese in here, we've got um, a nice blanket of, of cheese right on the top of the entire pizza. You can see right here as well that the dough is quite thin, which is something I appreciate in pizza. Many pizzas are made rather thickly and um, I think that's not really not really my kind of pizza, I've got to say. So, a very simple setup we've got here. We've got just the mozzarella and the tomato sauce and some spices on there. And apart from that we only have got the crust itself. So let's take a little... Uh, Let's take a little cross-section look. Hopefully the camera focuses on that properly. Um, it gets a bit uh, thinner towards the middle. Uh, the crust on the outer parts is a bit thicker, of course. Nice and airy. Still some, you know, still some fluff to it. Not entirely crunchy. Um, it does sag quite a bit, which is which is nice, I guess. <laughs> so. The first bite of the Gustavo Gusto Margarita pizza is going in. Now, I am quite surprised, I've got to say. This flavor combination, it really tastes a lot like a, a freshly made pizza. It probably is one of the frozen pizzas that comes the closest to an actual freshly made pizza uh, that, I, that I've had before. Especially the ones that I tried on this particular YouTube channel. Tastes very much like it. The dough itself, um, at least from the first bite, not quite. It's it's just not quite there. But the cheese itself, with that combination of the tomato sauce, 
it really comes very close to the real deal. The second bite, uh, admittedly a big bite, um, it was good as well. Um, something that I noticed though is that the crust itself, while it is crunchy, it um, it still feels a bit unnatural. It, it's certainly not like a fresh made pizza f out of a like proper pizza oven. In texture, it's a bit more cakey than it is um, pizza -y like with the crust itself, um, which isn't particularly bad, I guess. That's just what you have to expect when you freeze something and then thaw it up and actually bake it fully. But um, so far, so good. I'm going to finish the rest of the pizza now and I'm going to let you know in just a second what I think about it. The consumption process has come to an end. I am finished with the entire pizza and I think I'm ready to give my rating of this thing. Now, the first impression was very decent. When we took it out of the package itself, it looked quite all right, um, color-wise as well as just, you know, texture-wise of the, of the entire thing. Distribution of the mozzarella was decent and uh, the stuff that was loose on top, you could just easily shift around to make it even. Um, color-wise, in the frozen as well as in the baked state, um, it, it was looking really good. The cheese looked natural enough, the tomato sauce also natural enough. Um, what you have with some of these tomato sauces on frozen pizzas is that they are sometimes artificially red. Um, when you are very, well, strict on what you put into your tomato sauce, and it really is just tomatoes, it never really is blood red. It's almost certainly never is. Well, my tomato sauce never was at least, so uh, maybe sometimes they're putting some, some other stuff in there too. For the most part, um, a lack of redness is usually solved with a bit of tomato paste. It also increases the, the viscosity of the sauce, which is nice. But um, yeah, everything looked natural. That's, that's what I want to say with that particular point. Consistency and texture was very decent as well. Um, you could we certainly hear the the crunchiness of the dough itself. I do appreciate that the pizza is quite thin in the middle and a bit thicker on the outside. Um, it makes for a very, very nice, pleasant eating experience. It comes very close in that regard to actual Italian pizza out of an actual stone oven. That is certainly something I didn't expect to that extent. And I'm certainly positively impressed by that. Taste-wise, now this is something that um, I don't say often about frozen pizzas, but uh, I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, the cheese itself tasted like mozzarella. It's of course not like fresh mozzarella. This hasn't got that, that fresh texture to it by itself. So uh, we can't really compare that to a to freshly made pizza. But for a frozen pizza, this is one of the best margaritas I've had. I would even go as far as to say that this is the best frozen margarita that I've ever had because usually when I buy frozen margarita pizzas it is uh, the three pack for 2.49 at Lidl or Aldi. Those are fine <laughs> but this one right here is certainly um, a couple of classes above that. The only real reason why I can't give full marks in the taste department is that the crust itself it didn't really taste like the real deal. Everything else did. Um, the, certainly the first bite that I took of, of the first slice that um, really reminded me of, of some pizza I had uh, down in Italy. Um, but the crust itself, yeah, um, the, the outside, the border, whatever it is called, not quite there. But I think you should expect that from a frozen pizza. It's not going to be the real deal. It's not going to taste just like a real I say real pizza, uh, you know, a freshly made one, I just can't. And if you are at the point at which you are preheating the oven for an hour, um, let the pizza thaw for 20-30 minutes, then you might as well make pizza yourself, right? So uh, the, uh, the great thing about frozen pizza is the convenience that you just throw it into the oven, uh, leave it in there for 15 minutes, and you're guaranteed a very similar reproducible result every time. That's the beauty of it all. And uh, when you're spending too much time preparing it, you know, that kind of takes away from the entire experience. And maybe you just end up buying a regular frozen pizza again. The overall theme realization, I've got to say, was very decent as well. Um, we've got the margarita pizza. It's a very simple pizza. I would have loved a bit more oregano on this one. Um, maybe a bit more basil as well. But um, overall, I've got to say, very nice piece indeed. 
On a scale from 1 to 10, um, in my book this is an 8.93. And on that I think it is time to end. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, goodbye.